Men were worried about the rising security challenges again in Nigeria ahead of the 2023 general elections. The spokesperson for the presidential candidate of the African Democratic Congress, Adeni Yikunu, has expressed fear whether the 2023 elections will hold. Mr. Adeni disclosed this in Abuja during the party's Board of Trustees and National Working Committee retreat where he decried the current state of insecurity in the country. Brothers and sisters, especially in the north, are dying daily. Our women are getting kidnapped. We are worried. If Abuja is made to control, Nigeria will actually go on our knees. We are worried as a party. We are sad about it. But as I said, we are hopeful that this election coming in 2023 will hold. We believe that in providing solutions to the problem of insecurity will unite the fractions. And it is the ability of the leadership to be able to hold the different parts of the country together. Even if you do not have immediate solution as a ruling party, you are not appealing to their sense of unity. Mr. Dene further expressed dissatisfaction over the federal government's vehicles purchased for Niger Republic, noting that a lack of accountability and credibility has become a culture of the present administration. We are a big brother to many nations, and that is not out of place. But of course, the concern again is what is the kind of vehicle that you are buying for people to fight in security? We've complained that even the supplementary budget that we've had so far uh, for the current year is not sufficient. So one would have expected fighter trucks or things like that that you can actually put ammunition to actually deal with the enemy, not luxury vehicles. And it is coming at a period that we call inauspicious. I think any government's largesse cannot be something you put out at a period where your citadels of learning have their doors closed.